and welcome to this video on small basic now in the lessons you've been having a play a little bit and you've been trying to figure out what sort of things you can do with small basic now one thing that we're going to do today is i'm going to show you how you can draw some shapes but i also want to combine that with the use of variables that you may have used so what we've got here is i'm going to set up the graphics window pen color today all right now i'll explain why i'm doing this in a minute so graphics window dot get color from rgb now this is me picking the color all right for the pen the outline of our shapes so i'm going to go for 100 i'm going to go for 50 and 150 and these are the different shades so if you look up color codes they will help you here now the next thing i'm going to do is graphics window dot get color uh graphics window dot sorry brush color and what we're going to do is allocate a random color. So what we can do is do graphics window dot get random color. So you can actually tell it to pick a random color. So we've got graphics window dot brush color. I spelt color the UK way. Apologies there. And now that will allocate a color inside. Now to show you first, we're going to say my rectangle. I'm going to create a variable. Now this variable is for my shape and I'll explain why we need it in a minute. We are going to add shapes.add rectangle. And what you can do is you can put the width and height. I'm going to say that my rectangle is 100 wide and let's go 200 for the height. Now if I was to run that right now, it gives me a shape, but it's stuck in the corner of the screen. I want to be able to move it around. So let's go again. And you can see that that random color has been allocated each time. Now, what we're going to do is we want to move the shape into a position that we're happy with. So we can do shapes.move by rectangle. And you can tell it where you want to move it. So I'm going to move it out 100 by 100 so you've got your x coordinate and your y coordinate so i'm going to go along and down so let's see where it moves it now there we go back again run it again back again run it again so i've got different shapes here now we're going to that was a rectangle so we've got our height and our width with triangles it's slightly different my triangle equals Shapes dot add triangle. You've got your X, you've got your start position. So you've got your X position. So we're going to do, let's go for 200. So by 200, we're going to go for 100 by 300. And we're going to go for 300 by 300. Now, if I was to run that now, you can see where it's put my shape. I'm going to move my shape again, shapes.move, my triangle, and I'm going to move it. Again, I want it in the same position, but I want to go further across. So we're going to say 300 across and 100 down. Let's see if that works. There we go. So I've now moved the shape. If I wanted to, I could even change the brush color between the two so that that shape has a different random color. So let's run it. There we go. Run it again. They were quite similar that time. And those are quite different. So by using move, you can move the shape wherever you want. And you can do the same with circles as well. So we're going to go my circle equals shapes dot add ellipse and my width and height is going to be let's go for 200 by 200 i'm going to give it a random color again so i'm going to copy and paste this line and i'm going to move my shape let even further across now we're going to move it to 400 let's see and shapes 
sorry, I've just moved the triangle. We want to move my circle. I'm going to run that. And you can see I've moved that shape across. And we've got different colors again because of me randomizing the color. Now, one last thing which you might want to have some fun with is you can actually animate. You can say shapes.animate. And I might say I'm going to animate my circle. And you can choose where you want it to go. So I want it to go to 500 by 100. And I'm going to do this for 1,000 milliseconds. So we're going to run that. Uh, in fact, helps if I... Let's go for... Let's move my circle. Let me take out one over there. Shapes dot animate my circle was spelt incorrectly, hence the reason why it was giving me an error. So I'm going to do that again. There you go. So you can have your shapes animated and you can start to elaborate and create any sort of game that you want, really. One last thing, which you might be interested to know, is we can do inputs. If you remember, we can say graphic, uh, we can go text. See if you can ask it for inputs and then draw your shape. So see if you can now extend this by getting some text on the screen. And then after that, display the size of the shape using a variable. So there's a little bit of a challenge for you to try at the end of this. But this is how you can draw shapes and animate them.